The next step in the process of creating our virtual machine is getting a copy of the operating system. This is usually referred to as an ISO because it's a disk image and the file has an extension of .iso. The version of Ubuntu that I usually get is a server version, not a desktop version, and I get the LTS. In other words, Ubuntu 17 is already out, but it's not the LTS. So I'm going to get Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. That's the long-term support version of Ubuntu Server. And I'm making sure that I'm getting the 64-bit version because Mac OS X, if you have a recent Mac, it uses a 64-bit bus on the motherboard. Okay, so I'm going to click over here. All right, and it's asking me where I want to put it. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, and notice the extension is ISO right here at the bottom. The Ubuntu 16 ISO is done downloading. It's right here. The next thing that I want to do is create the folder that's going to be the shared folder between the Mac and the virtual machine. I typically put it in my home folder for the sake of this discussion because I already have one for my old machine. I'm going to create another one. This one is going to be called also Sandbox, but this time I'm creating it directly in my home folder. So new folder and I'm going to call it Sandbox. And notice I used lowercase letters. So now I have actually two folders called Sandbox. There's one here and one directly in my home folder. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create the virtual machine. Before I start creating a new virtual machine, I'm going to take some screenshots so that I will have a reference point in terms of the settings. Of course, the difference between my old machine, which you see here, these are the settings for it, in addition to what you see when you press this. I think the only difference is going to be in the size of the disk. Here, I had selected a disk of size 6.34 gigabytes, and perhaps that's what's making my virtual machine 2.8 gigabytes when I export it to an appliance. The way that I take a screenshot, shift, command, the four button, and then the space, and then I click with my mouse. Okay, so I took a picture of this screen. Then I'm going to go into settings, and I'm going to take a picture of each one of these tabs the same way. System, display, storage, audio, network, and here I need to click on the advanced. Okay. and also the port forwarding. Cancel, okay. Ports, this one's not important. Shared folder, okay. User interface, okay, so I'm done with that. So now I'm ready to create a new virtual machine. By the way, this window here is called a Virtual Machine Manager. The windows that actually open when you start a machine, those are the ones that we refer to as the virtual machines. So I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one Small Sand Box. For the type, I'm going to choose Linux the version Ubuntu 64, and then I click Continue. 
For the memory, a gigabyte of RAM is good enough and I can change it if I want to later on. So I'm going to click continue. Okay, now I'm going to create a virtual hard disk and basically that's going to be like the hard disk for the virtual machine but from the Mac it's going to appear just as a file. So I'm going to hit create. Here it's asking us what format we want to have for that virtual hard drive file and the default is fine so I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to choose fixed size for the size of the hard disk and then I'm going to set the size at I'm gonna make it a little bit less than a gigabyte by the way in case you're wondering where these hard disk files go my old one went in here in my home folder in a folder called VirtualBox VMs and it's probably one of these files over here. Anyways, when we create the new one, we'll take a look again. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gotta be one of these. The new one's gonna be in here. And I'll click on create. So now it created it. And let's take a look for this one. Yes, this is the hard disk file and it's almost a gigabyte on the hard drive. So now here we have small sandbox virtual machine and it's powered off. We can and will make some adjustments to the settings. By the way, we will be doing a lot of other things to this. We're not done yet. And that's what the next videos will be about.